So there's been a new drug on the market that's said to treat severe alopecia, known as ritlecitinib, also known as Lifflo. So I'm going to call it Lifflo because that's easier to pronounce. And this is the first drug that's been recommended for treating severe alopecia by the NICE guidelines and the NHS in the UK. And it has also been approved by the FDA in America. And the drug is also known as the name Olumiant. It comes as a once a day 50 milligram tablet and is approved for patients aged 12 and over. So Lidfilo works by reducing the enzymes that are thought to be responsible for inflammation, which leads to hair loss at the follicles. What happens with alopecia areata is that your own immune system attacks the hair follicles at the root, which causes your hairs to fall out. This can happen all of a sudden and at any age. I mean, these hair follicles are not destroyed. What happens is that they become dormant, which means there's always a possibility of regrowth of the hair. And the severity of alopecia can vary from one person to the other. So while some people have patches of hair loss, others can go completely bald. So evidence have shown that Litfulo or Olumiant has been more effective than placebo at improving hair regrowth. And this had continued for up to two years in people taking the medication. So if you look at the Litfulo website, it states that in just under six months, 23% of people taking Litfulo saw 80% more scalp hair coverage and 13.4% taking it full so 90% or more scalp hair coverage. The Alopecia UK website states that after almost a year, the number of patients achieving a response increased further, with over 40% of patients achieving 80% or more scalp hair regrowth. Now, as with any other medication, you would expect to have side effects. What are the side effects of it full Well, it mentions serious infections, increased risk of death, cancer, and immune reactions. There's also increased risk of strokes and blood clots, as well as allergic reactions and change in your blood cells. However, these are rare side effects, and the most common side effects tends to be more nausea, headaches, diarrhea, rash, decreased red cell count, mouth sores. So you have to weigh the benefits against the risks when it comes to taking the medication. However, I would say that this is good news for people suffering from severe alopecia, which is mainly a lot of people have, you know, total baldness of the scalp, you know, loss of beard in areas where you would normally grow your beard. So medications like Litfulo in the UK and Olumiant in America is good news. However, as with any other medication, do not expect 100% results. And as we've seen from the data, there's always a percentage. So before you embark on taking these sort of medications, I would advise that you do your research and speak to your doctor first.